Okay, guys, back at the field. Okay, we got uh, we got the 64 Gripen and the 64 uh, J10 here. So, uh, all right. So I'm gonna go over this really, really, really quick because I I uh, I want to try and speed up my intros a little bit. Um, Gripen 64 2200 4S 64. Uh, this is just a quick flight just to get me warmed up for. Um, for this this is uh <laughs> this is the free wing 64 that was in my f22 in the j10 now uh simplified construction you can see that the um the canards are now fixed uh i'm going to go into detail a little bit later about why i did that there's a number of reasons there it's way too difficult for you guys to get that whole system working and get a good flying airplane if i was having trouble with it keeping the slop out of it um keeping them strong enough there's just so many details thrust vectoring will come later this is a simplified version has more power 6s 64 on the j10 i uh, don't have a weight on it yet i'm going to weigh that uh in a minute we got little guy here uh he's going to film me so let me let's press record all right that's recording now all right let's get the gripping up we're going to get a nice warm-up flight in uh, so I can uh, I can be prepared for my for my J10 flight. You're just gonna stand behind me. Why don't you come right here, bud? Stand right in front of the right in front of the thing. Let's see if this thing is gonna go. A little bit of trim needed. All right, this thing's flying great. I cracked the tail a little bit on one flight. Let me just trim it a little bit more. Why well, so good? I switched the, um, I put a different receiver in, in this one. So I have to retrim everything because I stupidly like just trying to be quick and fast. I needed a new uh, receiver for the J10 with more channels. So I took this one out just cause it had eight instead of six. So long story short, just wanted to get a quick flight in. Um, wow, this thing flies so good. You guys are gonna have such a great time with this when you do, uh, when you do build it. <laughs> Such a cool plane. Oh, I think the battery is starting to go a little bit. Let's bring it in. Right at my feet, cool. All right, that was good. First warm up flight. How was that flight, bud? Good. That was a good one? Yeah. Cool, you wanna film the J10 too? All right, I have a lot of expo. 70% rates on the aileron because this thing is super twitchy. This has such huge control surfaces. That's another reason why I deactivated the canards. It has such crazy control <sighs> authority on roll and on pitch that I was just like, it, it, was, it was vectoring itself without uh, vectoring basically. So um, quick thrust run up. Whoa, a lot of good power here. All right, you wanna hit record bud? All right, let's let's get a good flight here. Oh yes. Oh man, guys. Oh yes. This thing flies perfect now. Fixed canards. Oh, no trim. No trim. I gotta be careful because this is my first good flight with the J-10. What the heck? Oh, I'm just gonna let this thing do the talking, okay? I'm gonna, I hate it when I rewatch my videos and I sound like such a dummy. Look at this thing go. Look at it. 
First flight, guys. Look what I'm doing. Look what I'm doing. First flight. <laughs> the 6S64 is so cool. I haven't even reset my thumb on the sticks because I want to keep this thing alive. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Ooh. Okay, so it will, it will uh, flat spin with just two control surfaces. It will, but it is a little more unstable. So you gotta be very careful because it will lose control. Let's see what happens a little higher. Just pulling back stick, back stick, back stick, back stick. Oh my God, this thing is perfect. It is perfect. It has unbelievable stall characteristics. Look at it, look at it, look at it, look at the J10. I am so happy right now, you have no idea. I'm so happy. I think I have a new favorite. I really do. I mean, this is my third one. Let's bring it in, because I gotta check the voltage. Be careful, Kyle. Don't be dumb. Oh, no. I don't think I broke it. Oh. Oh, no. The front digs in a little. I did not break it. I really dodged a bullet here, guys. I dodged a bullet. Right, bud? Did I? Did you turn it off? All right, good. I dodged a bullet. I, I, I missed a few like soft like seven. It did not break. All right. All right, guys. Uh, very good first flight with the J10. I'm extremely happy about this. Um, it it flies absolutely perfectly. So I'm gonna get up another flight real quick. Um, just because I'm excited and I'm so glad I didn't break it on the first one. Um, I had a servo lead pop out and uh, and nothing nothing's broken. So so let's uh, let's do this again. Let's get up another uh, good flight. Lots of power. I got Iron Man recording me. <laughs> Ready? Easy hand launcher. Oh my God, this thing is trimmed perfect. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Let's get in a good one here. Huh. Wow. Let's get a little more comfortable. What a perfect flyer. Slide her around a little bit. <laughs> Do my normal, uh, my normal circuit flying. <laughs> wow. I think I am in love. I think I have a new favorite plane, guys. It's, it's just like, it, oh. wait until this thing has, I scale this thing up and it's got thrust vectoring. Oh, oh. uh-oh, flat spin, flat spin, flat spin. Oh, it was a flat spin I couldn't get it out of. Yeah. I could not get it out of the flat spin. I saw that. So you need a lot more height, guys. If you're gonna flat spin this thing, I wanted to try and put it into a flat spin and see what would happen. And uh, sure enough, it would not come out. I was too low and I cracked up the airframe again. <laughs> I cracked it. She's cracked, but I think she is, I think she's still okay. Um, what? No, not too much broke. It just cracked in a couple places. I can definitely fix this. Let me see if it... 
Yep, all I need to do is air cracks only like a, couple, a couple cracks. That's crazy, right? Yeah, but I just so real quick. Let me just let me just um, finish up this this thought here. So, long story short, this plane is absolutely incredible. Um, it hasn't even really broke. I think what I need to do is really simply run the CG a little a hair far farther forward <clears throat> of where this is so that you can recover from from the flat spins when you do want to flat spin this thing um i almost made it out but i had to make a decision i was only like what was i 30 40 feet off the ground when i was flat spinning and um and i you the way you come out of a flat spin is you just put a uh, elevator down you just throw your nose down and you uh, pray that, that you're gonna, you know, nose down enough to to get out of it. Um, and yeah, I, I didn't have, I had to make a decision. Do I nose down and, and destroy the jet if it doesn't come out or keep it in the flat spin and, main, and, and save the rest of this jet? So basically all I have to do, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna print this section and this section. It's gonna take me I'll have it done by this afternoon. It'll take me four or six, four to five hours for, for those two sections in the canards. I'm just going to reprint them and uh, I might even be able to snap the canards off without, um, without breaking them. And why don't you put your helmet on? Oh yeah, look at Iron Man. <laughs> and uh, guys, Daddy st start, st starting to try and make me a suit. That's right. I'm going to make you a whole suit, right? Same foam as this. Yeah, I was thinking about 3D printing him an Iron Man suit. Yeah, but then we know, then we knew it wouldn't be able to move and wouldn't be that comfortable. It's not going to be comfortable for a kid and, to wear on Halloween, and, so. And also, it wouldn't be able to move because yep. it's going to have to be glued together. That's so right. We start, so we decided to make it out of the same foam. I'm just going to make it out of EVA foam. It's a lot yeah. of better form. So let me wrap this video up. J10 guys, amazing, 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 amazing. I can't, it is so much fun to fly. It flies so stable, it's fast. The Freewing 64 6S in the J10 is a match made in heaven. I wouldn't have it any other way. Although, when I flew the yellow one, when I had my nose, uh, my CG kind of close to right, the, the 4S crappy power system, Amazon special flew great too, so. Unbelievable. I'm going to release these files. They are ready to go. Anybody that wants a J10 can have one now. Yeah, um, but you have to wait for him to print no more. Well, for my next video, because I'm yeah. going to do a lot more videos with this. I just have yeah. to reprint the uh, the nose of this. Yeah. And, anyway, thanks, guys. And, and say bye to everybody and say subscribe. Bye and like and subscribe. And, Dad, tell them what jet you're going to make next. What jet I'm going to make next? The MiG. 29. That's right. All right, guys. See you later.